Hi, I'm Hannah West, and today we are with Professor Matthew Powers, and we are located in Marla. Well, hi, Hannah. Thanks for having me, first off. It's great to be here. We are currently in the Marla, which stands for the Media Arts and Science Research Lab and Learning Arcade. This is the central headquarters for everything gaming, 3D, uh, animation, drawing, design work, creative work, etc. This is like the central place where all students come to relax, to work, to create, to bond, and we just love it. So let's talk about you a little bit. Okay, so all right, sir. what do you do here? I am pretty much the video game professor here. I know, that's a real thing. I know, I, I pinch myself every morning like, yes, I get to do this. Um, because nowadays, games are made on huge scales. We have lots of people, even small games, are made by a really diverse group of people. So we have the right brain, which is dealing with creative work, design work, you know, UI system. And then we have the left brain, which is working with the, the math, the programming, the diagrams, all the things. And both of those are absolutely critical for a game to be made. Uh, so you've kind of touched on this already, yeah. but can you explain how informatics relates to gaming? Well, informatics is the organization, the management, the development, the study of, of data, of information. And gaming, that's what gaming is. Gaming is literally the end product of managing massive amounts of information. So, I mean, a game is pretty much, when you play a game, any sorry, even Mario Brothers or something, that is the tipping point. That's the zenith of a massive amount of information that has been studied, created, organized, and then perfected into a, a directed goal to create fun and enjoyment in another person. So let's talk about Ethereum a little bit. Okay. Uh, can you kind of explain what Ethereum yes. is? Yes, okay, all right. Return of Ethereum is our flagship. Basically what happened was about four or five years ago, Gen Con, you know, the giant mm -hmm. gaming convention, they call us and say, hey, we've heard what you're doing because we run student groups and do a bunch of gaming stuff. We'd love you to make a game for us. We were like, ah! Oh! So what was the game? What did you guys make? Okay, so the thing about the game itself is a little bit difficult to describe. It's an ARG, or augmented reality game. It wasn't a straight video game that you play on a console. It wasn't a board game that you played at a table. It was everything in between. See, we had to make an experience for all kinds of people over three or four days. So that's really, really interactive. You had everybody just running around mm -hmm. playing it. Yeah. That's very, very cool. Well, we also had people in costume. So we had people actually acting like some of the characters behind us. We had we actually had people on the team doing cosplay, actually make the costumes, and we had actors. And so that's what I mean about the blurring. So then when we had you know students in costume, they weren't Rob, they were Ken, the fire champion. It wasn't just a convention hall, it was the, the, the realms of Ethereum. So uh, you have some Ethereum gear here. Can you explain? Oh, absolutely. This? this is a Ken, the fire champion's helmet. So if you look behind you, you'll actually see that we have a uh, cardboard cutout of a kin, and he's wearing this helmet. That was done by Becca Cromer, one of our amazing artists, and she's actually a faculty member now. So we actually had we had people design the character, come up with his backstory, and then we had Robert Lashinger, who was on the cosplay area of our of our game, actually make this helmet. Go ahead and try it on. It's, it should fit, Jim. I was hoping you were going yeah. oh, yeah. to no, please, invite please, yeah. me to. Yeah, see, now look, now you're not Hannah, you're the fire champion. This is everything at Media Arts and Science. Now, this is the Pendant of Nereida. Don't you feel like you're on a quest right now? I do. Oh, like, okay, here's plus five to dexterity and stuff like that. Now that is really cool because if you look behind you, there's Nereida, the water champion, done by Catherine Steele. We had a story team come up with the character and the idea and everything behind her. Then we had Catherine draw her. Then we had the 3D people actually make that pendant in 3D in Maya. Then we actually 3D printed it. So it was made by a computer. Then the cosplay kids came in, painted it, took care of it, strung it up, and then the cosplayers wore it at the game. Very cool. Can I? Oh, I don't please, think this will fit over my headdress. Yeah, put it on. Yeah, oh, yeah, we probably should have done it for first order. Yeah, here, here let's. Here, I'll take the helmet. Here we go. You. It'll be all things up here. Okay. Do you want the helmet and this? No. Yes, okay, I want okay. the helmet and that. Right. Okay, hold on. Okay. Ta da! Now I'm there you go. What do you guys think? Wait, she's like, she's literally from the game. She's now transformed from Hannah to Etheria. Should we expect to see anything like Etheria in the future? Oh yeah, and many, many more things. We're looking at trying to do some stuff in Minecraft, actually. Uh, the, the Viking Diabetes game is going on, so we're making a lot of pixel art. So we got a lot of stuff coming in. Very cool, well, I look forward to seeing it. Oh, well thanks, well, I can't <laughs> wait to make it. Well, I wanna thank you, Professor Powers, for letting me talk to you today. This was all really interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, and I look forward to taking one of your classes. Well, seriously, Hannah, thank you so much for having me here. It's been a real honor, and uh, I look forward to having you in class and all the other future students.